Huh? State your name, where you from? Ryan Hoffman. Yeah. I'm from New Jersey. Huh? And I come here every Friday. Uh. And I spend lots of money. <laughs> oh man, what you what you uh what's your scale you Mala? HO. HO oh. scale. Oh, okay, okay. I like to get unit trains, tanks, hoppers. I'm a big A V M fan, so I get them when they come in, but you know, Yankee takes care of me, so That's good, good place. Uh, good. good to see you, man. Alright, yeah. Alright, you have a Peace. safe night. Peace out. I'll see you again. All right. Hi everyone, my name is DJ and welcome back to Yankee Dabbler, where every day is a train show. And today we are going to be taking a look at some of the brand new items that we have in our shop. And we're going to be going to Lionel. We're actually going to be taking a look at the Legacy Engine, the first Legacy Engine we reviewed here on Engineer Hall's channel. And this is the brand new Lionel Red Baron Jersey Transit set. And this is a new Legacy set that they have come out with. And let's take check this guy out because we got a bunch of different features here. So I'm going to power up. And then using my legacy remote, I'm going to activate it. All right. As you can see, the LED headlights are included here. I have uh, marker lights for when the engine goes in reverse. Let's pull this baby out, shall we? As you can hear, I have the rail sound system in there with the nice screeching of like the, uh, the groaning of the cars as they're moving. Great diesel engine sounds here. And as you can see, I got a whole bunch of different scale cars here. I got a automotive finishes box car. And this has doors that open up. So if you want to put that stuff inside there, you can do that. I have here the auto rack flat cars. You can see there I got frames that would go on to automobiles, so that's pretty neat. The set also comes with bands that would go around here to keep them in place. I didn't put them on for our purposes here. Now I have a Jersey Central, uh, another box car here, a refrigerator car here. And once again, the doors do open up so I can put that inside. Of course, it's not gonna wanna open for me, but they do open, take my word for it. I got the uh, nice uh, hopper car here, a two-bay hopper car. And then my personal favorite car of the whole set, I think the caboose is really sharp looking there. And that's this the traditional standard caboose there. Lights up, great looking piece that we have here on the set. Now, a lot of the features that this set comes with is really dealing with the sound system. And Lionel has done a lot of stuff brand new things going on with their rail sound systems. I'm going to demonstrate a couple of those things right now. Now, of course, this is a set for those scale O-gagers. This really isn't considered a starter set. But if you have a O-scale setup already and you want to take a look at some of the brand new features that some of these scale engines have, let's check this out, all right? So, a brand new thing that all these um, new diesel locomotives have, and this is an SD40, the new things that these have are multiple different whistles. So as you can heard, or horns in this case, so as you heard in the beginning, I have the regular horn. If I hit the auxiliary button on my legacy remote, and then I hit the horn again, I get a different pitch, all right? I'm gonna do that again, hit the auxiliary button, hit it again. Hit it again. And then one more time, we got five total. I actually think I skipped one here. There you go. So as you can see, I have a lot of neat customizing features with these sets. And that was the first one. Now, not only is the horn that way, but also the bell is the same way. So if I hit auxiliary one, I get my regular sound, I gotta hit it again. Get a higher pitch frequency, I gotta hit it again. I'm going higher, now the next one I'm gonna go lower. And then finally, I'm back where I started from. 
So that's a really neat feature that's happening in these brand new legacy engines. Another neat thing that they have, which I think is really cool, is the crew talk features. In past Lionel engines, have kind of been truthfully a little bit hokey. They're kind of the same generic things over and over again. Well, they've really done a lot to update the crew talk features. And one of the things that I really like, it's a little subtle thing, but they actually hear the uh, static of the radios in the engine. Take a listen. So I'm going to do some of the crew talk features here. My fuel's full. Out. That's going to be one hour long if we don't move on soon. Dispatcher, am I clear to the outbound? Over. We need to hold you. Hold me a signal. Out. And there's a whole bunch of different sequences. Just hold here for two weeks and then take the main to the next interlock. Dispatcher, ready to roll. Can I pull? Over. You are clear through my limits. Out. So that's just a really neat, subtle design that makes this engine seem even more realistic to the ones that are out there on the rail railroads. All right, I'm a personal fan of Jersey Central. I think this is a great looking set. Again, this is for the uh, the the scalers out there, the O scalers out there that like to have uh, uh, a cuts. Uh, engines that are prototypical of the ones that are out there on the railroad so that's why this set is a little bit pricey the retail on this set is $849.99 however we're selling it here at Yankee Devil we're going to give you $100 off we're going to sell it for $749.99 it might seem like a lot but considering that the brand new diesels in the brand new catalog are going for around almost $600 it's a really good deal for what you get into the set. So come on down to Yankee Dabbler and check out the Lionel Red Baron set. All right, now we got something very exciting to show you. We've been waiting for these engines to come in for a very long time, and they're finally here. From Scale Trains, we got these brand new ES44 ACs, first responders, law enforcement, and honoring our veterans locomotives. So let's check out these guys here. As you can see here, we have here the first one. This is the honoring our law enforcement. And this engine is jam packed with details. I know I've talked about details in the past on this channel, but seriously, this thing has a whole bunch of stuff happening. One of my favorite features on the law enforcement engines, if you take a look up front, you're going to see that I have blue and red ditch lights, which are really neat. So when the engine uh, blows the horn, you see the alternating different colors. That's not prototypical of the, of the actual engine, but that's a really neat design that they have here. If you take a look inside the window, you're actually going to see the American flag with the blue stripe that has become synonymous with honoring our law enforcement. I got a whole bunch of different grills, vents. I got lights actually that go underneath the trucks, as you can see there, which are really neat as this thing light uh, goes down the track. And you're going to see that pretty soon when we uh, fire these uh, puppies up. And I also got walkway lightings. This is a great First engine. responders locomotive. And one of the different features that we have here, as you can see in the window here, now I got some first responders painted in the windows there, which is great. Same deal, I got a whole bunch of different vents, the same type of lights happening in these engines. This is a great looking design as well. And then finally, I got the Honoring Our Veterans CXX locomotive, and this is a great looking engine with the camo design in there. I have the American flag in the window, so every single one of these has uh, little subtle features uh, detailing in here. But these are just great looking diesel locomotives, and truthfully, if you get one of these for your uh, layout, you're probably going to be the, uh, the one that everyone's going to be envious of if they have a model railroad themselves. A neat added feature that these things have is on the radiators, you're going to see um, specific designs for each engine. This one has the uh, honoring our veterans and our uh, missing in action POWs, and you can see the silhouettes of some soldiers kneeling there. If you take a look at the first responders diesel, you're going to take a look at a never forget. And that has a commemoration for 9-11. As you can see, it says um, Washington, Somerset County, and New York City. Uh, so that's a great little um, added detail there. And then for the honoring our law enforcement there, you're going to see the police shield there for CXX police. So those are great added details that, I mean, as I said, these inches are just chock full of added little details that uh, really make them stick out.
All right, so these locomotives are selling for three seventy-five, dollars but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $2.99. You're getting a great deal. You're getting a lot of bang for your buck here. And just like we did, like to do on this uh, channel here, we're going to check out one of these guys, and I want to check out the, the uh, law enforcement one because I want to see those different colored ditch lights. So let's check it out. So we got the law enforcement uh, engine on the track, so let's start her up. Here we go. That's a great looking sequence there. Let's start her up. Now, of course, when you start out this train, you gotta do the theme song. Bad trains, bad trains. What you gotta do? What you gotta do when it comes for you? No? Maybe. Coming backwards, and as you can see, I have a whole bunch of different lighting features there. If you take a look at that walkway, you can see that walkway is lit up. It's great. What great sounds this thing has. Alright, I mean, that's such a fantastic engine. And by the way, if you want a, a copy of my hit song, Bad Trains, What You Gotta Do, check out uh, later in Engineer Hall and we'll sell you the LP. Alright, so that's a great diesel locomotive. As I said, they're selling them for $375, but we're selling here at Yankee Dabbler for $299. Come check these engines out, get them for your layout because they're not gonna be here forever. We got some brand new NCL locomotives that we're gonna be checking out. and. To talk about him, I actually have an N scale expert I found uh, because he's the only one that would work for the money we offer. Please welcome Ken. Ken, tell us about these N scale locomotives. Hi, everyone. These are Atlas RS2s, available in Chicago, Great Western, Spokane, Portland, and Seattle, New York Central, and my personal favorite, the Delaware and Hudson. These locomotives are available DCC non sound because these are actually former lifelike tooling that Atlas purchased and that Atlas has not retooled these for sound. So these are Alco RS2s. You can tell because they have the uh, exhaust stack pointed like that. The RS3s have it pointed 90 degrees going this way. Uh, these locomotives were manufactured by Alco in the late 1940s to early 1950s. They have all sorts of grill detail from like over here. There's grills all over the place. The Delaware and Hudson locomotives have the DNH shield on the front of the engine. This denotes the front of the locomotive. As you can see on the Delaware and Hudson unit, there is no shield on the back of the locomotive. And this does line up with the F on the side of the engine. Come on in to Yankee Dabbler and get yours today. I got mine. Uh, Ken? Ken, that's actually ours? Um, well, we got other ones left. I, I might have to stick the uh, law enforcement engine on them. All right, so thank you very much for tuning in to all the new things that we're getting here at Yankee Dabbler. We get new things in pretty much every day, so we're continuously adding new items to our website, which is yankeedabbler.com. Of course, you can check us out at our store in Belmar, New Jersey, Yankee Dabbler. We are open from Tuesday to Saturday from 9 to 5, so come in and check out our store. We got a whole bunch of stuff here waiting just to be on your train layout. So if you're not already subscribing to Engineer Hall, make sure you check out uh, that subscribe button. 
fun. Uh, you get to see all the new things that's happening on this lab and all the different product reviews. And we'll see you next time here at another episode of What's Happening at Yankee Dabbler, where every day is a train show. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Here comes that law enforcement engine. Bad trades, bad trades. Oh, what you gotta do? Oh, what you gotta do when it comes for you? Bad trains, bad trains. Oh, what you gotta do? Oh, what you gotta do when it comes for you? I'm gonna get that engine back from Ken.